All right, first question is from CMOS23. Do you travel with supplements or do you just take the time off? That's a great question. It, it depends on which ones we're talking yeah. about. I, you know what? I actually take more supplements when I travel than when I don't. You do. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 this guy yeah, your breaks, travel pack. He breaks out one of those uh, one of those ten gallon or, or five gallon Ziploc bags, and yeah. he's got like all these. <laughs> I'm he, waiting for the time that we get stopped. He's our walking the, pharmacy. Stopped uh, at the I airport. No, I yeah. do too because yeah. actually I, we can count on you probably to have everything. Yeah. Personally, I would say the one that I most because things like creatine and performance stuff sure or no need to take I, no it. i don't even worry about bullshit like that um but i'd say there's two probably uh my my vitamin d and then probably our, our organifi green juice yeah uh the mainly because i know i need it to be pretty consistent with my vitamin d uh I, it's that's already tough for me as it is so that's a consistent one that i, I bring and then the green juice because it's very very rare that when i'm traveling i have a hard time at home getting enough of my greens in on a regular base on a regular basis when i'm traveling it's it's almost guaranteed i'm not going to yep. yeah exactly i'll do greens also do like elderberry or something to help boost the immune system like that's something i'm always conscious of like just traveling and being in the same fart box as everybody else and like breathing all that same air and everybody's like bacteria they're just slinging out there in the so i've got one for you then if that's what you do i a little hack since you know we fly so much I now take the green juice and uh, and then the um, immunity from them, and I mix them, and I freaking <laughs> before I get on the plane. Mm -hmm. How's that taste? That's just it's not bad at all. Oh, actually. Bad. Yeah, I mean the green's great. The the it's a little, anyways. No, <laughs> no, 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 it works. It, yeah. It's yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not like fucking you know yeah. your your favorite pink lemonade or some shit. But no. it's, we've done a lot worse. No, because so when I when I travel, the two things that um, I consider are sleep. Because sleep is always off when you travel. It's harder to go to bed. We tend to go to bed later. Usually, if we're, if, if we're traveling, there's a lot of excitement going on, especially if it's for work. So I know by the time I lay down, it's going to be hard to get my mind to kind of wind down. And then the other one is, is, is vegetables, like you said, Adam. Really, really hard to get good quality vegetables when you eat out. And if you do get vegetables either fried or covered yeah. in not even real butter, it's usually some kind of whatever oil. So and you get a small amount too. So. And you get a small amount. Yeah. And for me, I, I need to have a certain amount of greens for digestion and just to feel you know good or whatever. Yeah. So I do the green juice uh, very regularly when we travel. Yeah. And then I do the gold juice at night uh, for the sleep, mm -hmm. to help with the sleep. Oh, there you go. Or I'll also take melatonin. Melatonin, I don't like to use on a regular basis, but occasionally I'll use it when I'm traveling um, and, and then I'll use it when I get back. Melatonin is a great way to get your circadian rhythm back in check. Yeah. So you take it like a decent, like a one gram, m milligram, I should say, uh, dose right before you go to bed or an hour before you go to bed. I'll do the, the CBD pen. That's what I like. Oh, that, yeah, 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 that's yeah. how it help, helps me sleep yeah. actually. But yeah, if you're traveling for less than a week or a week, I mean, you know, you don't really need to take much. Well, here's the thing. Your, We've talked about this before at nauseum. It's supplements are such a small piece of the pie in the first place. It doesn't fucking make that big of a difference. So to, travel with expect to me performance supplements is kind of silly to me to travel with it's just like whatever mm -hmm. but i you know i think i i see some value to somebody who knows they have a deficiency somewhere like for example my vitamin d it's like something i need on a daily basis so i don't know i feel like that makes sense to take something like that Dude. and i and i think that if you if you know how better your digestion is and how you feel when you're regular with your your vegetables and greens and you and if you know you're probably not i see value in that but you know, creatine, branch chain amino acid, fucking protein shake stuff. It's like yeah, you when can, you're traveling, you're trying to maintain more than anything else. You're yeah. not trying to like yeah. Yeah, progress forward. You yeah. should have seen how I used to travel. Oh my god! Oh, I, 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 have, I was bad. Your six pack bag. And no, like I a would take. Other I would have uh, all my protein powder servings. I'd have pre workout servings. I've had amino acid. So and, and because the containers of Damn. those things are so big, I couldn't bring them in the containers. So it was basically just bags of powder, and many of them are white, you know? <laughs> I, just, I just picture you putting all the powder in your mouth and then trying to put water in after. Oh, and, all that. Yeah, that's that's... and I'd write on the bag, like, B-C-A-A, -A, you know what I mean? Cause... Well, I mean, I guess I guess it really depends where you are, too. Like, in your, like for I think for all of us, where we're at in our life and, and fitness goals and stuff like that, it's not that big of a deal, right? Like... Even if I, I mean, we just, we went on vacation and I didn't train once. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and it's not because I, I, I couldn't. I mean, I totally could have made the time and effort to mm -hmm. do it. I just thought I didn't give a shit. I was with family and friends. Like, that never happens. Like, 
now, I can't think of any other time in my life where I, we've had 22 people that were all very close friends or family of mine all in one house together for a week. And, you know, like I, I, I sucked up every bit of that time and enjoyed every bit of it. And honestly, like going to the gym for an hour, totally doable and could have been done. But you know what? I valued more that one hour that could have taken to go to the gym of more time with the, yeah. those family no, members you're to right. me. And, yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? And, and absolutely today what I look like, uh, I'm fallen way off in my, in, in, you know, in my eyes of what, you know, what I look like and feel like when I'm in really shape, but I, I'm not, not healthy anymore. I'm like, I'm a little softer than what I was two weeks ago or three weeks ago, but it ain't, it ain't nothing that I can't get right back to within about a week or two yeah. of like dialed in. No, that's a good point. And I think it's important that you look at what the real value is of a vacation is the value of a vacation to, you know, go after my fitness goals. Maybe you if know, I was I, competing. Yeah, maybe it'd been some, totally different. I know some people who love to exercise when they travel because it's when they have the time to exercise as much as they want. Mm. Um, but if you're like for me, when I go on vacation, the value is the people around me, enjoying the environment, what I'm doing. Now, if I travel uh, with Jessica, we both like working out. Oftentimes, what we'll do when we travel is a couple days. We'll wake up early to go work out, but that's part of the vacation fun. Uh, for us. But yeah, I, I agree with you. I think if you're on a trip, you know, because I've always had, I've had clients tell me like, what do I eat? What do I do? And I go, just don't go crazy. But don't, don't be an asshole. Yeah. Just go enjoy yeah. yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. 100%.